Hey, what's up guys? Check it out. Just got a brand new package from Vortex Optics. I'm so excited about this. Let me show you what it is. But first, okay, nice. Gotta make a pit stop at Alec Pro Firearms. Hey guys, what's going on? Is this the gun right here? Yeah, this is your Grendel. To go with this special package. I haven't told them what it is yet. Yeah, I'm a little jealous. Because I just got the Razer HD Gen 3 scope, which is a one to 10 by 24. Look at that bad boy. So we're gonna put this on, what do we got here? This is our uh, DMR in 6.5 Grendel. And we're gonna bring it out to the range and put it to the test. All right, Steve, I got her mounted up already to rock for you. Love you guys, but I wanna go shoot. So I'm out of here. Guys at APF have so generously hooked me up with this 6.5 Grendel. Let's go shoot. All right, so I made it out to the range and look who I got. Howdy. Aaron's got the gun all sighted in, got the 6.5 Grendel ready to rock. Let us tell you a little bit about this optic though. We've been out here playing with it just a little bit, getting some shots in. It's been a lot of fun. This is an awesome scope and let us tell you why. First, it's a one to 10 power scope. It gives you some really great versatility. And I think that's really the heart behind the Razer Gen 3 is versatility, being able to attack those tactical close range targets. And one thing that helps with that, and then switching, you see how quick that was? Switching to 10 power, I love these quick handles, quick switch handles. I don't know the technical term. It's a technical term. Scope magnification changer. That's gotta be it right there. So you go one to 10 power really quick, but when you're taking on those close range targets, it has a lighted reticle, which basically acts like a red dot. And it's really bright even in the daylight sunshine that we're out in here right now. The other thing when acquiring those close range targets that I noticed that I like is it has edge to edge clarity. It seems like it has just a huge field of view. Yeah, you really don't see the edge of the scope. That little black ring is really small that you see when you're looking through the scope. So it's got the edge to edge optical clarity. You know, that is really nice when you're looking out either at close targets or far away. Then you flip it up to 10 power and it's first focal plane, which is really nice because the sub tensions are all gonna remain the same. This one here is the EBR9 MOA scope. It is MOA, but it also has a BDC. And this scope is optimized for the 223 platform, but I got a 6.5 Grendel. Why? I've been asking that myself. I'll tell you why. I am considering hunting deer this year with a 6.5 Grendel here in Minnesota. Um, so I wanted to try it out. I want to get some play time with the 6.5 Grendel. So I, I had a reason. And uh, we're out here today at the range now, and we got our short tactical targets. Right at 25 yards. See them bouncing in the wind? I don't know if you can tell. It's a little breezy today. That probably won't cause us much trouble. Not at 25 yards. No. I mean, we can probably most likely still hit a 25 yard target with the balloons bouncing. But where it is probably gonna cause us a little bit of an issue. I don't know if you can see way out there in the gravel pit. We got a balloon out there and it is dancing. 517 yards from the table here. So it's a moving target at 517 yards. And you said when you went down there to set up the target, it was there was a lot more wind than what yeah, we're we, experiencing we, here. We've got some trees right here that are blocking the wind. I would say there's double the wind at the target. 15 miles an hour, somewhere in there, out at the target, maybe 20. So we're gonna put this Vortex Razor Gen 3 scope to the test with some versatility while on the clock. We're gonna attack the short range, 25 yard tactical targets. Boom, 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 take them out. And then we're gonna go out, dial it down to 500 yards and shoot the far balloon. Dial this, it down or dial it up? I don't know, just dial it. And this is a competition. So it's gonna get serious Ooh, now. On. And this is on the clock. Who can take down all targets, all four targets, the fastest? What do you think? Aaron? Right here, guys. Come on. Or me. Comment below. Let us know what you think for the competition. We are shooting the Federal Premium Gould Metal 6.5 Grendel. The APF firearm, it's got the APF Butcher muzzle brake on it. It has a nickel boron bolt, as well as a match grade barrel. But without further ado. All right, let's get going. Four shots, four targets. I like it. 
<laughs> that was some good shooting right there. I thought it would take you at least a couple shots at 500 yards, especially with that dancing balloon and with the wind out there, just it's variable. I mean, we're watching that flag and it's it's moving. Well, I first I got down there, I forgot to flip my scope up to 10 power. So that took a second. But then when I looked there, I looked at the flag, the flag was pretty much dead away from me. So I didn't have a crosswind, put it on, pulled the trigger, nailed it. 18.99. I'm gonna have to pick up the pace a little bit though. Basically you have to do it in four shots. Oh yeah, for sure, but faster. <laughs> All right, let's load the balloon, load the balloons back up. <laughs> let's blow the balloons back up, then I'm up. I think it's a little breezier than when Aaron shot though. I think the winds have picked up. All right, here we go. And the time is 16.99. And you were what? 18.99. What are the odds of that? Both ending in 99? I made the same mistake you did. I got down and tried to get on target and realized, oh, I didn't go all the way to 10 power. So I had to <laughs> flip it to 10 power quick. That's where this comes in really handy. Just being able to just slap that over. Like I already said, if you want to learn more about the Razer Gen 3, check the link in the description. Also the APF 65 Grendel DMR rifle. Oh. And if you notice a sweet shirt that I'm wearing, it's by Vortex. That's also in the link. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, it's impossible to hit the shots you never take. So pull that trigger and shoot for your dreams. See ya.